some more literal trip advice for you. Make sure whenever you're doing long travels that you try to empty as much stuff as you can. I was trying to unpack things this morning and uh, found that I could get rid of some jeans I don't wear anymore and, uh, and I think a t-shirt. So it was nice to get rid of those things because it's really annoying when you have to be traveling with too much baggage, which I am because I have all this camera equipment and I have uh, my big backpack and my small backpack, which is like my little office. And speaking of camera equipment, I'm just gonna go and buy more because right now I'm on the way uh, to Fortune Town, which is this mall uh, in Bangkok where you can get, uh, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to get a GoPro so I can take this experience for you to the next level. The GoPro, a very small camera, yet very powerful, yet extremely, extremely popular. Everyone wants it. Let me tell you something, good things come in small packages. And speaking of that, that's why we're talking about you if you are short. I get questions like this all the time from guys. What do you do if you're too short? What do you do if you are talking to a girl and she says, you know, I'm looking for a tall guy. I know that you might see online a lot of girls saying, you know, you have to be six feet or over, or whatever that is. Well, let's talk about height. I think this is a good time to go in depth here. The first big problem with guys who complain that they are short is that they basically are just saying that they believe they have no opportunity with a woman. So this is false. First of all, I've seen many short guys, guys, I mean, even under 5'5", who have gotten amazing, beautiful women. So it is possible. And no, it's not because they have money. So the first mindset of going in and just saying, well, not gonna work for me, girls like tall guys, that's already gonna set yourself up for failure. So you are basically saying that's not possible for you and you're making it not possible by just saying it and convincing yourself when I'm here to tell you that it's not true. Let me tell you a little secret. We create our reality. Our thoughts and our mindsets basically dictate every single thing in terms of your success and in terms of what you want. What you say in your head will come true because it will come through in all your decisions and all your actions. For example, if you believe that short guys can't get a beautiful girl, well then you're automatically not going to be going for tall girls and you will make it your reality. Your mind is the most powerful thing when it comes to attracting women. So we need to change the mindset and we need to flip it. Instead of saying, oh, short guys don't get girls, first of all, you need to be working on your personality. I just probably had the most unhealthy piece of chicken in my life, but it was amazingly delicious from a place called Fried Days here in Thailand. And I really just needed that because I feel like for the past couple days I've been eating a little bit more uh, vegan and vegetarian and I was just craving some really terrible meat. What I'm talking about here about building your personality is really about building the intangible part of you that truly attracts women. We've been raised and taught that it is looks that attract women and you might even think that because you are attracted to a woman because of her looks in the very beginning but the truth is is that women are more attracted to your personality and to the way you behave. So being short, being tall, being fat, being skinny, these are all things that matter to a much smaller degree because a woman is looking to know how you act. Are you fearless? Are you courageous? Are you able to be comfortable around her? Can you be strong enough emotionally to uh, provide for the relationship, to provide for the family? These are the things that she really wants. I know that might seem to be really just weird for you because usually you're seeing on profiles girls saying things like I want a guy over six feet I want a guy who's tall but hear me out when I say they say those things but they don't know what they actually want of course they want a guy who's tall uh, who doesn't want a tall guy who doesn't want a good-looking guy who doesn't want a guy who's rich those are all very nice things but that's not exactly what they're attracted to so you could show up on a date with a girl and, or you can meet a girl and go and approach her and you can be shorter and in her mind she might be saying, ideally I want someone who's taller, but once you're able to display your personality in a way that gets her attracted, then it's game over. You just have to learn how to do that properly. Lucky for you, I have hundreds of videos on how to do that, plus multiple programs on how to do that. But trust me when I say, it doesn't matter how short you are, it's the way you act when you are with her. All right, let's get back to the Uber now. 
So I wanted to continue and say that, you know what, I could say all this stuff to you and you might be a short guy. You might even write in the comments below like, yeah, Trip, easy for you to say. You're not short. Easy for anyone else to say. They don't have to deal with what it's like to be a short guy. You're right. I don't know what it's like to deal with that. I just know that, you know, what from what I've seen is that guys who are short are still able to get women. But all the words in the world can't convince you. So I'll say this, because hopefully we can get close, is that either way, you should be going out and talking to girls. Because if you sit and do nothing, nothing's gonna happen anyway. So you might as well go try, right? So that's kinda like step one, is going out and at least trying. And then you will see for yourself, because that is gonna be the best way to prove to yourself that you can still be able to attract women by being short, or by being bald, or by being broke, is by going out there and developing your personality and trusting that process. So I hope that this video does more than just teach you about what you can do if you're short, but really push you to go out and try and just see, and just see if practicing this stuff and building the skill of attraction actually works for you. I know it can, it did for me. All right, this is gonna be a long journey and I'm taking you with me. About to take a seven hour bus ride with all this luggage all the way down to uh, some small town where we're gonna hop on a cataran, which is then for two hours gonna take us all the way to Koh Tao. So here's Koh Tao. You can see that. That's just a small little baby island. So here we go. On the bus now. This is going to be a long ride. Get out of here. Ah. <coughs> I think one thing you need to do with the way you look is really own everything about you, you know? Everyone is going to be able to have to say something about their bodies that they're not going to like. They're short, they're fat, they're too skinny, they have a kind of an oversized nose, you know, it happens. Maybe their bottom teeth are a little crooked, whatever. You know what, these are things that might bother me from time to time, but I own it. This is me. There's nothing I can do about it, so I try to move forward. So I'm asking you, you know, if you're a little bit shorter than most other guys out there, or maybe you're not and you're just self-conscious about it, I want you to own it. I want you to really love every single part of yourself because that's the only way you're gonna win in this game. Getting much closer here at a uh, dock here. I'm gonna be waiting for the ferry, which is gonna come pick us up and then head over all the way to Koh Tao. So I'm very excited because at this point it's uh, somewhere around 6.30 in the morning and I'm just very anxious to get there. And finally dip my toes in some white sand because there's a nice little beach here which I'll show you in a second but it's not the same as where I'm headed to. Okay, finally made it to paradise. And I wish I got B-roll this, but man, I got so sick on the boat right here. So we, uh, we left from the pier, we got on the boat, and for two hours straight, I was just puking in a bag. And I was not the only one. There was about maybe 20 other people doing the same thing, because we were taking a, a catamaran, which is like this huge boat that just takes you speeding down the ocean and the waves were choppy and it was bad news, but I'm feeling better, I'm here, I'm in paradise, and I um, hope you stuck with me through this whole episode. I know it was kind of long because I was teaching you guys some stuff about what it means to be short and still be able to attract women. I think you know by now. Put your biggest takeaway down below. Let's have this conversation in the comments. Let's talk about guys, um, you guys, if you are still insecure about being short. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to write in the comments down below if you are short, I want you to write down, I'm short and I own it. That's right, write that down in the comments right now. I'm short and I own it. We're gonna own it. Every single little piece of insecure body part you have, we're gonna own it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.